Hello, my name is Rachel Mann and you may have guessed from the dog collar that I am a parish priest. I also happen to be a rock musician, a guitarist who loves to make a lot of noise. But I want to speak today very briefly about why silence and listening matter to me. Silence, you may say, what does a rock musician care for silence? Well, for me, it is through music that I've come to a deeper appreciation of silence and of how silence and stillness and space and listening can draw us ever deeper into our relationship with God. The thing is, when you're a musician, what matters as much as the notes is the space between the notes, the intervals, the silence. When you're a musician in a band, what matters as much as being competent on your own instrument is being attentive to what your bandmates are playing. I think this takes me to the very heart of why silence and listening matter in prayer for me. I love to speak. I love to make noise. I love to be the centre of attention, but when we come to the heart of worship and prayer, we are invited to listen, to turn down the volume on us and allow God to speak in those gaps, in those intervals, in the silence. Because here's the wonderful thing about God, God does not insist on his way. He waits for us. He waits for us to make the space available. So let us dare to listen. Let us dare to go to the place of silence, even if it scares us. And if it is so scary that we think, I really, really can't bear it. Think of how silence works in music. Music is full of riches and sounds and possibilities, but it just won't work unless we leave gaps between. So to hear the music of God, the music of God which wants to rise in our lives, we don't need to be masters of silence and meditation. We just need to be people who can be attentive to the gaps, the interv intervals and the moments between. Welcome to this time of shared listening in silence. As we begin this pilgrimage of discerning where God would have us be as a diocese, it's important that we make time and space together so that we can listen for that still small voice which will encourage, inspire and guide us as we embark on this pilgrimage of hope, longing and discernment. On every pilgrimage there's a need to travel light both physically and spiritually and to slow down and travel at God's pace rather than our own. On this pilgrimage, we as individuals, churches and a diocese will need to travel lightly and attentively through this year too. We may have to let go of some things that we've held dear to in the past, things good in themselves, but they may now weigh us down and prevent us from moving forward creatively and in hope. As we begin this time of silence, you may wish to hold on to a cross or a pebble or shell or a set of prayer or rosary beads. And as we're held in silence for the first part of our time together, simply sit with Christ as you would a friend in companionable silence. Perhaps focus on the Teze icon of friendship and ask God to help you discern what you as an individual and a church may need to lay down, perhaps for a time, perhaps forever. Halfway through the time of silence, I'll place this shell, a symbol of what I need to lay down before embarking on this pilgrimage in the light of the candle and you're invited to lay down the object you are holding too. Then we'll settle back into the silence 
as we continue to listen for the Spirit's promptings. And so we begin by lighting a candle as we set aside this time of being with God in the silence. So now we spend a few moments stilling ourselves as we gaze on the bright dancing flame before us. Focus on your breathing. Don't change how you breathe, but simply notice your breath. Perhaps there's a difference in temperature between your in-breath and your out-breath. You may notice your breathing quite deeply, or your breathing may be shallow and quick. But as you breathe in, breathe in God's love. With each in-breath, feel yourself being filled with the love of God. And as you breathe out, breathe out all that's getting in the way of you and God. Breathe out any anger, resentment or distrust. So as you breathe in, breathe in the love of God. And as you breathe out, breathe out all that's getting in the way of you and God. Now we'll listen to some words of scripture, which will lead us into seven minutes of silence together and in the company of God, as we seek to listen to his voice and his call. And at the end of the silence, we'll say the Lord's Prayer together. Some words from Psalm 95. O come, let us worship and bow down, let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. O oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Now as we prepare to listen for God's word to us in the silence, we hear some words from the first book of Kings. The word of the Lord came to Elijah, saying, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Now there's a great wind, so strong that it was splitting mountains and breaking rocks in pieces before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a sound of sheer silence.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Bless us, Christ Jesus. You show us where to find rest for our hearts. Amen.